All week on the program, we've been discussing the rush to pass the omnibus bill to prevent a government shutdown. For many Americans, the argument that we must spend trillions of dollars to avoid a disaster is starting to feel familiar. After all, the massive government spending project known as the American Rescue Plan was designed to deal with the emergency of COVID-19, and it shoveled billions of dollars to state and local governments. Was that money used for emergency purposes? Earlier this month, the Toledo, Ohio City Council proposed spending $100,000 from the American Rescue Plan funds to pay for Ohio women to travel out of state to obtain abortions. Rochester, New York has selected Planned Parenthood as one of 20 members of its Rochester Peace Initiative, which will split $5 million from the American Rescue Plan funds. There are multiple problems here. First, it's against the law to use federal funds for abortion. But it is also beyond dispute that COVID relief funds were supposed to be for COVID relief, not to help the city of Toledo cover travel expenses for those who want abortion vacations. So why are federal dollars funding these assaults on life? Joining me now to discuss it is Ben Johnson, senior reporter and editor at The Washington Stand. Ben, good to see you today. Good to be with you as always, Joseph. Now, you wrote about the misuse of American Rescue Plan funding for the Washington stand. Tell us how you found the instances of this happening. Well, you know, in this case, it was really a, an instance of us expecting to find exactly what we did find. Family Research Council warned when uh, the ARP was being considered by Congress that this is exactly what would happen. This was not going to go to COVID relief uh, as well-intentioned as that might have been. Uh, in, in fact, uh, at the time, we thought that it was probably misguided. The economy was already coming back in March of 2021. Uh, COVID was already on uh, the the release at that time, so uh, things were things were already moving in our direction. And then, uh, when when this was passed, we said this would establish a slush fund that uh, would be used by states and localities for everything except for COVID relief, and that's exactly what we found. Uh, in fact, most uh, cities and states had only spent a fraction of the COVID relief uh, funds that had been allocated in March by the end of last year, according to the Associated Press. Uh, and when this was happening, the other side insisted that uh, these funds would never be used for anything except for COVID. Uh, but we noted at the time that the bill was passed that it was one of the very few bills that had ever been passed without the Hyde Amendment, which protects uh, federal taxpayers from being uh, forced to pay for abortion across the country. And as it turned out, of course, we were right. I assumed that those hopes would be disappointed, and I was not disappointed. Now, Ben, I mentioned two instances in the introduction, one out of Toledo, Ohio, the other in Rochester, New York. Are there others as well? There are. You know, in September, Cuyahoga County, Ohio, which is Cleveland, spent almost half a, a million dollars on COVID relief funds to pay for abortion travel and hotel rooms uh, for Ohio women who go out of state to have abortion. And then there was St. Louis. Uh, St. Louis, Missouri doubled that. Uh, Mayor Tashara Jones allocated a million dollars of federal COVID relief funds to pay for abortion travel or for child care uh, for women who left the state for an abortion. She did at least try to justify it on economic terms. She said that abortion bans were bad for the economy. So that was the way that she tried to uh, justify her expenditure. But uh, we, we've seen this time and time again, even the uh, far left nation magazine, which is as far left as you can go on the political spectrum, essentially spoke about the fact that federal COVID funds were going uh, not for COVID relief, but they were going uh, for what they called reproductive justice and reproductive health care, which uh, we would call the termination of an unborn child's life. The logic that uh, bans on abortion would be bad for the economy is uh, interesting. Don't know how to have an economy uh, without people, Ben. Seems to be an important ingredient to that. Now, could an attorney general for a state step in to prevent this from happening? Well, one, uh, at least one, had the courage to do so. That was uh, Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt. Uh, he filed a lawsuit the same day that St. Louis uh, passed its million dollars in uh, COVID abortion funding back in July. So he was the first one to, uh, to take that initiative. Uh, and of course, we know that uh, the voters rewarded that. He was just elected U.S. Senator from Missouri. So uh, that, was, that was a very popular move to uphold federal law, to uphold the integrity of health care funding. Uh, this is the biggest adulteration of funding that you can imagine. These funds were allocated uh, for, for um, in, in wisdom or uh, poorly thought out, but they were allocated in order to preserve life. They were 
put there in order to fight the spread of COVID-19 uh, in the idea that it was a killer disease that was going to uh, stamp out the lives of thousands of people. And as it turned out, of course, it's being used to facilitate the taking of life. Uh, it is an adulteration of funds. It's the exact opposite of what was promised. But uh, we should not be surprised that that was the case. Again, FRC warned about this in the lead up to the expenditure of those funds. Now, Ben, can't help but think about this in the context of this omnibus bill. We know COVID was emergency spending. We've heard uh, arguments about urgency being made with this omnibus bill as well. Should we expect uh, more of the same with these quote unquote emergency funds in about 30 seconds? You should expect that with every massive government spending bill, not just uh, omnibus bills, not just ARP, but in fact, every large government spending bill. Uh, if, uh, of course, the, uh, the Justice Department is still prosecuting people for outright fraud when it came to COVID because it was rushed through so quickly. But uh, anytime the federal government is handing out money, there will be people who will use it completely fraudulently, and there will be those who allocate it for purposes other than that for which it was intended, usually to drive a political uh, purpose. And in many cases, we can say that that's probably what the federal uh, lawmakers intended in the first place when they passed the bill. Ben Johnson, great article. Go check it out at WashingtonStand.com. Thanks for your time today. Thank you so much.